Hi, welcome to the Psychic Pastry Chef, where two unlikely worlds merge. You may know me from my other YouTube channel, Pamela Georgell, The Lucky Mermaid, where I post monthly psychic tarot readings and psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac, and also the special psychic videos I record for my Vimeo On Demand channel. Here in these videos, I will be showing you some great desserts, cakes, and pastries that you can make at home and impress your friends and family. And all the while, I'll be giving you psychic messages for each sign of the zodiac. Today, we're gonna to focus on the sign of cancer. I psychically tuned into the sign of cancer and found that they really love cheesecake and anything that has zing that sings, lemon blueberry cake, lemon blueberry tart, anything with fruit and cheesecake mixed together. Actually, I think cancers love all kinds of desserts, but I have to pick one from my repertoire. And so today we're gonna to be making fruit fantasy cheesecake. Are you ready? Let's go. So the first thing we need to do in the fruit fantasy cheesecake is to get your pan ready. And as I said in my other videos, you're gonna get tired of hearing me say it, mise en place, everything in its place. So make sure you have your ingredients measured and weighed out before you start and have your oven on. You want your oven at 350 degrees for this recipe. And uh, I cut out a piece of parchment paper that I'm gonna put on the bottom of the pan just cause that's what we did all the years as a pastry chef, I always put the paper. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. We are spraying the pan. So first I'm gonna spray the pan with coating. And I'm gonna put this in the bottom. All right, and you can give this a little spray too, not much, that's good. Okay, so to make the crust, the first thing you need to do uh, is to cream the butter with powdered sugar. So the, you need six ounces of butter, unsalted butter, and you want to use a half a cup of sifted powdered sugar. So just add it all in at once. You don't need to uh, wait, all right? So flour goes last. I'm gonna pull this a little closer. All right, get going on this bad boy here. So you don't wanna overmix this. You wanna scrape this down because in, in most mixers there's a little hump on the bottom of the mixer and all the ingredients piles up around that. So you wanna scrape it down real quick. It doesn't have to be a major ordeal. But you wanna make sure everything's mixed together well. All right. All right. Now, I'm not even gonna add this gradually. I'm gonna add all the flour in at once. All right, back with the paddle. You wanna use the paddle on this mixer, not the whip. Now you're gonna mix it just till it comes together. You don't wanna over mix it. This is just the crust for the bottom of the Fruit Fantasy Cheesecake. And don't forget, I'll be giving you psychic messages at when I get to a point where I can talk. Okay, so this has come together really well in a nice dough. And as I said, you don't want to mix it together. Uh, over mix it, I mean. You don't want to over mix. So you can get this dough off the beater. 
and now you're going to want to press it into the bottom of the springform pan. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to start getting messages for this first for the sign of cancer of for 2018. You're going to have some insight and information from some people that are going to be like sharing a lot of information with you, cancer, that uh, I feel like you're going to be really happy to get this insight and information. It might be useful to you in some aspect that's going on in your life. And, you know, I, you may even think, uh, Cancer, of, in 2018, of stylizing yourself differently. You may, you know, get plastic surgery or change your hair color um, or just, you know, stylizing yourself. You could even be getting new, new clothes. Um, but I get stylizing yourself differently. I feel like you want to revamp up your image somehow. Or maybe you're just getting bored with certain things and you want to, you know jazz it up a bit. Also, I pick up a lost connection. So somebody that you've lost contact with or had no connection with for a while, Cancer, you may pick up that connection in 2018, where either they send you an email or you pick up the phone and call them, but I do pick that up. And for Leos, I hear that you're going to be starting some uh, new organ organizational skills and maybe getting some kind of training in something. But organizing and training comes up for Leos in 2018. So here's the crust. You can see what it looks like. And now it's going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. I also feel that uh, for July, in July 2018, is going to be a pretty heavy duty month for Leo. A lot of uh, things are going to be going on. You're going to be stopping, reassessing, and reevaluating things that are going on in your life in July. So you got a lot of things happening in July of 2018. Now I'm going to show you how to make the cheesecake part of the Fruit Fantasy Cheesecake. So what you want to do is you need eight ounces of cream cheese. So just put it in your mixer. And room temperature is best always for any ingredients, uh, butter, cream cheese, and eggs. So let's get going on this cheesecake. All right. Okay, so you're gonna wanna add a quarter of a cup of sugar to this cream cheese. You can also make this in a food processor if you want to. If you don't have a mixer, and you have a good sized food processor, it will work also. So as I always say, scrape your bowl down because you know everything builds up around the bottom. Especially with this type of mixer, there's a little bump and you wanna not let everything collect down there. So now I'm gonna add my egg uh, it takes one egg and also half a teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract, which I have added in with the egg. You can do that. Again, stop your mixer, always scraping, especially with cheesecake, because it really likes to lie around the sides of the bowl. Looking good. Don't be shy to beat that to a pulp. And now you're going to add almond paste. This is uh, four ounces of almond paste. You can buy this in the food store now. Didn't used to carry it, but you can now. Or if you're enterprising, you could make your own. Just put in little pieces at a time. You don't want to throw the whole clump in because the cheesecake batter has to incorporate all this almond paste. Okay, that looks perfectly ready to go. So the crust is done, came out of the oven, and now I'm going to put the cheesecake on top of the crust. See, that's the color you want, or a little lighter is fine. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna get uh, messages for Virgo. 
You may have some big family discussions and roundtable discussions in 2018. I see you at a gathering. I see lots of people sitting around a table um, and it's family. And I feel this is about big decisions or family decisions in 2018. I also feel Virgos are looking out to brighter, sunnier skies uh, because I also pick up uh, some traveling for Virgos. It could be for, could be for work, but it really feels like pleasure. So now I'm going to put in the cheesecake and as you'll see there, you can still see the little, little pieces of the almond paste. It does not get pulverized completely. If you want this more pulverized than that, you can put it in a food processor and you might get the pieces finer, but I really uh, had this flying on high. So and the almond paste is going to is going to melt too. It's not going to stay in chunks. So while I'm doing this, the next sign I'm going to look into for 2018 is Libra. I feel catching up, catching up with yourself, catching up with lost friends, old friends, catching up with anything that you like paperwork, catching up with your finances, all that, anything involving the words catching up happens in April. I mean, <laughs> well, maybe it is going to be in April. Happens for Libras in 2018. And also I feel that Libras are going to be receiving some kind of green light in some regard, like a go, like something you wanted to, you were waiting for, something you needed to find out. Maybe you're breaking ground on uh, building a new house, or maybe you, you know, wanted to, uh, you know, you needed a card for immigration or something, something or a grant or a loan, something that you were waiting the green light on uh, comes up for you in 2018, Libra. So now I'm going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake this at 350 for about 10 minutes. All right, everybody out there. Now we've got this fruit fantasy cheesecake done. This is what it looks like. It's not a high cheesecake because you're going to add a lot of fruit on top of it. So what you want to do is take, actually, I don't want to use that paring knife because I'm going to use it for fruit. Take a steak knife, paring knife, whatever you want to use. Run it around the outside edge of the cheesecake all the way around. All right. And then open up the spring form. There you go. And to get it off onto this nice plate, you want to use a tart pan bottom, or you could just leave it right on the pan if you don't want to move it. But I want to move it, so I slide it underneath. And see, it's like a cookie crust on the bottom. I'm just going to take this parchment off, which maybe you could avoid doing and put my cheesecake on the platter. All right, now we're gonna put the fruit on this sucker. And I picked strawberries, mandarin oranges, blueberries, and kiwis, but you can use any fruit you want. You could use blackberries or mix pineapple into it. Maybe you just want all one kind of fruit, all peaches or whatever you think flavor would go well with almonds. This is the way I always made it at my pastry shop and at all the businesses I worked at since I graduated the Culinary Institute in 1982. So I've been making this dessert a very long time. So first, I've already peeled two kiwis. I do like kiwi if you're not familiar with it. Uh, it is a little bit of a fuzzy, hairy kind of fruit. You just cut off the ends and get as close to the skin as you can. You don't want to leave any of the fuzzy brown uh, part on there because that wouldn't be good to eat. And you know, I always check when I check the kiwis, if they feel too hard, they're going to be like woody and you're not going to want to eat them on a fruit tart or on this cheesecake. So these were pretty good. They were a little on the firm side, but you cut them down horizontally. And then what you want to do is you want to slice them. And I wouldn't slice these too thick. Really, I, I wouldn't. I like to make them semi thin. So that's the thickness, if you can see that. 
that I think is good for these kiwis. So I have to give it on with my psychic messages. Oh my gosh, where am I? Wow. I think I'm on Scorpio. So Scorpio, what's coming up for you in 2018 while I slice these kiwis? Retribution, something that happened for you negatively in the past gets like rectified or maybe somebody that did you wrong or hurt your feelings in some way may actually get some kind of karmic payback because I get like retribution for, for you, uh, Scorpio. Some of you that are single, may, or even if you're not, uh, you may have a new romance that buds and pops up out of the ethers for you too. So I see that for some of you Scorpios. Let me see what's coming up for the good old Sagittarians out there. Sagittarius, I really see, and this may be a general thing for all Sagittarians just generally, but I hear that you want to be seen, heard, and recognized in 2018. I also hear you're having a hard time believing in someone or some gossip that you're going to hear. It could be through the grapevine of work or, you know, just like I hear somebody telling you something and you're like, I don't know. It's like not sitting right with you, Sagittarius. You're not really feeling like, uh, and you know what? You're right in thinking that because the gossip mill is a tricky, uh, tricky thing here. So I would, I think you need to trust your intuition. So I'm just cutting the green parts off of these strawberries and then I'm going to cut them in half. I'm not slicing them, but you know what? You can do your own thing. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'm also going to look into the sign of Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorns in 2018. You could be rebuilding a business that maybe didn't do so well or building something from the ground up, but I get rebuilding. Your rebuilding could also be uh, in a relationship or in a family. You know, and if you were one of the Capricorns, like if anybody ever was looking at you with a jaded eye in your family and felt like, you felt like people were looking at you funny, you're gonna be like the hero or champion in 2018. Okay, so what I wanna show you is how I decorate it. You wanna look at, make it look haphazard and scattered like a fantasy, right? Cause it's called fruit fantasy cheesecake. Uh, but again, you can lay these out any way that you want. And I'm scattering the strawberries first because they're like the foundation you can always put the kiwi draped in and out and intertwined around. It's much better to start this way. If you start with the strawberries, you really give it a three-dimensional look here on your little bebop and fruit fantasy cheesecake here. So while I'm doing this, I am now going to look into the sign of Aquarius. What's coming up for Aquarians? In 2018. You could be starting some kind of promotions about something or some kind of ad campaign uh, comes up or promoting something comes up. And I'm going to intertwine these. Maybe I want another. Well, that one doesn't look that great. This one's all right. I'll use another strawberry here. I'm going to intertwine these. So if you can see, I'm putting them at an angle. If you have a little Lazy Susan or a cake decorating wheel, it's awesome to use in my bakery and, and all, a lot of the places I worked. Uh, we would make a whole assembly line of these. We would have many to put in uh, the cases, but you could always put them on a wheel and turn it around and that way you get different perspectives about how, how it's coming out. I also see Aquarians considering a lot of their options in 2018. So you've got some options coming up here, Aquarius. I do feel many Aquarians want to propel themselves forward and want to see how they can advance. You may be deciding to retrain or re-educate your mind. You could be looking into spiritual subjects, uh, metaphysical subjects, learning to channel. Uh, taking psychic development classes, that also comes up. So, I don't know. Wow, I think I cut too many kiwi. See? Oh, well, I'll eat them, or my kids will. 
somebody will eat these kiwi. I have a big, big old fruit salad. So in a, in a fruit fantasy this size, if you want to use kiwi, you probably only need two. Three was overzealous. And now I'm going to add the mandarin oranges and focus on Pisces. What's coming up for Pisces in 2018? I get like starting over or starting over new. Uh, if you recently left a love relationship or a marriage or maybe starting a new school, um, I get like starting over in some way comes up for you, Pisces. I feel like you're going to have a lot of options too, because I get like options placed in front of you on your plate, like a lot of options. Also looking at thinking about how you can get the most out of your finances. So you could be doing some kind of financial review um, or, you know, looking at like if you have any portfolios or what you're doing with your money. I see you like really focusing on it, thinking, what can I do? How can I get the most out of my money in 2018? Not that you're not doing well with your money. Don't misunderstand me. I just see your area of focus at some point, maybe around September, uh, focusing on that. So this looks pretty good. So what I want to tell you is I use glaze. And if you watch my other videos, especially the apple tart video, I put apricot uh, preserves. Uh, best if you can get jam where there's no pieces of apricot, but it's okay if there is. And I put two giant tablespoons of apricot preserves with water and brought it to a boil. And this way you can seal in that fruit and make it look real shiny and it keeps the fruit lasting longer. And I'm going to add the little last, uh, the little thing that pings the blueberries. Blueberries will make it jump. So to me, you know, it is called fruit fantasy cheesecake. I would use, uh, you know, like I said, different fruits, you know, blackberries do look good on this, but blackberries are pricey. So decide what you want to do here. Um, and like I said, you could put all one kind of fruit on it if that's what you like. So look at this. Come on, you could do this. And think how much people would go, Ooh, whoa, did you, what bakery did you get that from? What pastry shop did you get that from? Did you make that? Really? <gasps> Ooh. And then when they taste it, and you know, like I said, for the sign of cancer, cancers do like comfort through their food uh, very often. You could argue with me, but you know, I, I have some good friends and relatives that are cancer. And I could say I've seen that be true. And my spirit guides did mention it also. So here, you've got that comforting flavor from the, almond, um, from the almond paste with the cheesecake. And now you've got the zing, like I said, cancers like zing with the fruit. So now I'm going to glaze it. You don't have to get like, you don't have to worry about going crazy. Just enough to make it sparkle and shine makes the fruit stick together. So it's not, you know, if you have to take it somewhere, fruit's not gonna be rolling all over the place. That's always a plus. This is looking pretty good. What do you think out there? I think you should make it. And I wanna see your pictures. If you do make it, please show me how you made out with this recipe and let me know if your friends and family like it. As I said, it's something I've been making actually since uh, 1982. Every place I've worked, every business I've owned, every pastry shop, bakery, catering business, restaurant, uh, you name it, it's been made there and people always like it. If they like almonds and they like fruit and they like cheesecake, if you don't like those things, you're not gonna like fruit fantasy cheesecake. All right. So there we go. There you have it for fantasy cheesecake. You can make that at home. I want to remind you, make sure you're following your true passions in life and then you'll know you're truly on the right path. Thank you for watching. Till next time. 
Thanks for watching The Psychic Pastry Chef. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in getting any of the special videos I've recorded for my Psychic Pastry Chef Vimeo On Demand channel with more recipes and psychic predictions for 2018 for each sign of the zodiac, you can access these videos for purchase by clicking on the link below this video or you can go to my website, www.thepsychicpastrychef.com and click on the videos tab on my menu. If you're interested in scheduling a private psychic reading with me or purchasing any of the special videos that I record monthly for each sign of the Zodiac for my Lucky Mermaid Vimeo On Demand channel, you can access those videos for purchase by clicking on the videos tab on my menu at www.theluckymermaid.com and go to my order page online scheduling calendar for booking new appointments which reopens every four to five months. See you next month.